This is the range country, where the pounding hooves of untamed horses still thunder over mountains, meadows, and canyons. Every herd has its own leader, but there is only one fury. Fury, king of the wild stallions. And here in the wild west of today, hard-riding men still battle the open range for a living. Men like Jim Newton, owner of the Broken Wheel Ranch, and Pete, his top hand, who says he cut his teeth on a branding iron. Wild as Fury is, that's the one human voice he's learned to love and obey. The voice of the boy who once saved his life, Jim Newton's boy, Joey. a mutual trust and affection that everyone can understand. Especially a woman like Helen Watkins, Joey's school teacher and unfailing champion. Kneel down, let me get on you. And there they are together, a great wild horse and the only person on earth who can ride him, Joey and Fury. out in the hills so late in the day. I was at Frankie Watt's house. We had a 4-H meeting there. You'd better ride on home before it gets dark. Old Clawfoot's around in these parts again. You mean that bear that was here last year? That's right. He killed a foal of the Gordons and made off with a pig from the Bar 2 ranch. Say, I bet those were tracks I saw on the other side of that hill. He sure must be big. Mm, he is. The other side of the hill, you say, huh? Uh-huh. Well, we'll go on over there. And you set out for home right now, Joey. And tell Jim to put an extra watch in his stock tonight. Yes, sir, I will. Come on, Fury, we better go home. What's the matter, Fury? What are you stopping for? Fury? Why, it's only a baby lamb. Couldn't be more than a couple of weeks old. Where'd you come from, little guy? Oh, it's shaking all over, Fury. Doesn't seem hurt, though. Just scared. Where's your mother, little fella? This old Clawfoot is back, all right. We gotta get him home before that old bear comes back again. I'm gonna do this. Good boy, Fury. Now, wait till I get on. Fury. Hi, Jim. Hi, how's the patient? Drank the whole bottle. Well, he better learn to eat like a big boy from now on, because I ain't eating no more baby bottles. It's a she, and I'm calling her Fuzzy. I found out where she comes from. Belongs to Mr. Drayson over at the Bar X. He wants her back? Nope, he said you could have her. Gee, that's swell. And listen, Jim, can I ask you something? Oh, sure. 
You know the 4-H club? Yeah. Well, everybody has an entry for the livestock show, except me. Could I enter Fuzzy? Please, could I, Jim? You, uh, you think she's championship material? She'd win first prize. She's a beautiful lamb. I understand that Frankie Watts has got a lamb that he's grooming for the show. It's supposed to be a pretty good one. Fuzzy's a million times better. Please say yes, Jim. I don't know, Joey. That's a big project. You'd have an awful lot to do between now and the show to get her in shape. I can do it. You'd have to feed her yourself and clean out her pen, comb her, groom her. I'll do it, Jim. Well, maybe fate saved Fuzzy from old Clawfoot just to get her that blue ribbon. <laughs> then I can show her? Sure. Oh, boy. Thanks, Jim. She'll need another bottle at 4 o'clock, Pete. Well, you fix it, son, because I ain't playing nursemaid to no lamb. That's right, Pete. Joey, this is where you take over. You bet. Thanks again, Jim. <laughs> Chow's ready, but where's Joey? Oh, he'll be here. Uh, he went with Frankie over to the livestock pavilion to see about pens for the show. <laughs> you know, I never did see a kid say head up over anything. You'd think that blue ribbon was the most important thing in the world. <laughs> it is, to him. <laughs> and that lamb, like one of the family. Well, grooming fuzzy for the show is good experience for Joey. You know, I don't know what that kid would do if anything ever happened to that critter. Hey, Jim. Yeah, it's a pretty nice animal. Pretty nice? Look at that fleece. Ever see a tighter fleece than that? Sure, on my lamb Betsy. Better teeth, too. What do you mean, better teeth? How can a lamb have better teeth? I don't know, but mine does. And she's got better formation over the back, too. You're gonna feel pretty sorry, Frankie, when the judge decides otherwise. You haven't seen Betsy lately. Well, I gotta get home and help Dad with the chores. Yeah. Right over tomorrow and see what a prize winning lamb looks like. All right, I will. Betsy. Oh, hi, Joey. Uh, what did Frankie think about your lamb? <laughs> he thinks whatever he's got is better than anybody else's. Always bragging. <laughs> that seems to be rather a common failing around here. That's for sure. I gotta clean out that trailer to get Fuzzy to town. After lunch. Say that fury! Yeah, it's a fury! <laughs> You'll only make it worse. No fire! Fuzzy! Fury! This morning, ate a good breakfast and all, but uh, what? I don't know. After breakfast, he went over to see Frankie, and when he came back, was when I noticed it. 
seemed kind of low and droopy. Think he's coming down with something? Yeah. Here he is now. Hi, Jim. Hi, Pete. Hi, Joey. I've just gone out to look for you. You want to go to town with me? No, thanks. How about some nice blueberry pie I just made? No, thanks. How's, uh, how's Fuzzy? All ready for the show? Ready as she'll ever be, I guess. You got the trailer all fixed up for her? Jim, I just don't think I'll put her in the show. Why not? I just don't think there's any use, that's all. Now, wait a minute. Suppose you tell me what's happened. How do you feel this way all of a sudden? I just don't want to take her to the show, that's all. You went over to Frankie's this morning. Pete said you were feeling fine when you left. What happened in the meantime? Gosh, Jim, I saw Frankie's lamb. And what? Jim, I think his lamb's gonna win. Joey, did you ever hear of good sportsmanship? Sure. But here I've been grooming fuzzy every day, thinking so hard about that blue ribbon I could see it in my sleep. Well, so is Frankie. So have all the other 4-H boys and girls who have entries. Besides, aren't 4-Hers supposed to lose without complaining? Yeah. I guess so. Here's Frankie now. Hi, Frankie. Hi, Jim. Hi, Frankie. Anything wrong? I'll say there is. My lamb is gone. And you're the one who stole her. Are you crazy or something? Why should I steal your old lamb? Because she's better than yours, that's why. You're afraid she'll win. Whoa, now wait a minute. Let's get this straight. Frankie, what happened? Just like I said, Betsy's gone. I went out to feed her this morning, she just wasn't there. Well, I had nothing to do with it. Well, could she have uh, gotten out somehow, maybe wandered off? Well, the gate was open. But I still think you did it, Joey. You didn't want Betsy in the show, so you came over and let her out. I did not! Well, now, Frankie, I don't believe that Joey do anything like that, and I don't think you believe it either. You're just upset. Now, why don't both of you boys go out and look for her, huh? Yeah, sure. I'm sorry, Jim. I just gotta find Betsy. Well, you can go find her yourself. Please, Joey, help me. Why should I? After you said I stole your old lamb? I only thought... I know what you thought. Okay, I'll find her myself. Wait a minute, Joey. You remember that pledge you took when you joined the 4-H club? Yeah. What was it? You know those words? Well, they're not just words. There's real meaning behind them. Let's see. I pledge my head to clearer thinking. How does the rest of it go? My heart to greater loyalty. Mm-hmm. My hands to larger service. Go on. My health to better living for my club, my community, and my country. You think you're living up to that pledge? Well, he said I stole his lamb. That's not the point, Joey. I've been working hard so Fuzzy could win that blue ribbon. And now she has a good chance. Joey, there's more to 4-H clubs than just winning blue ribbons. You help to solve each other's problems, share troubles, like this one of Frankie's. I got work to do. I didn't think that boy had a selfish bone in his body. Seems like he needs a little more talking to, Jim. Well, fighting selfish instincts, learning to lend a helping hand, those are all a part of growing up, Pete. I'm afraid that's a problem he's gonna have to wrestle with himself. Is ours right now, Fury. And I should worry if his lamb is lost. My heart to greater loyalty. Yes. My hands to larger service. 
going. My health, a better living for my club, my community, and my country. And isn't there something about losing without complaining? You could help him look. You club members are supposed to share your troubles, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Fury? I guess we'll have to look for Frankie's lamb. We won't come back till we find her. for provisions, I'm going to take a truck. <laughs> we got a grown boy here, remember? <laughs> I'll take this sack down to the barn and tell Joey we're back. All right, I'll give you a hand. Hi, Sheriff, Steve, what can I do for you? Hey, Jim, you seen anything of my boy Frankie? He started over here this morning to see Joey. Seems Frankie's lamb's gone. Well, yeah, he was here. Joey, uh... Uh, Joey couldn't go with him, so Frankie went off to look by himself. Why? What's happened? Frankie's horse came back to the stable without him. Well, that's not all. Old Clawfoot's in the neighborhood. He mauled one of my wranglers this morning. Darn near killed him. We better get up a posse. We're doing that, Jim, and we need the help of you and your men. Oh, well, Jim. Uh, Jim, look at this. I've gone to look for Frankie's lamb. Back later, Joey. Well, that means there are two boys out there. Look, we'll take the west side of Sugarloaf Mountain. You take the hills between here and Watts Ranch. Right. Come on, Pete, let's find those boys before it's too late. Gary, we've just got to find Frankie's lamb. Let's look in those clump of trees. No, Fury, not that way. Okay, maybe you know better. to help you look for your lamb, that's all. But you said... Never mind what I said. We'll ride back on Fury and send a pack horse back for your lamb. Joey, I can't. I think my leg is broken or something. What happened? When I found my lamb, I tried to get both me and her on my horse. He bolted and I fell. Let me see. I can't even move it. Don't move it, it's kind of bent. Gosh, maybe you did break it. You ride back and bring my father. I better not leave you here, Frankie. Why not? I'll be okay. Now with a broken leg. I'll send Fury back. <laughs> Fury, go get Jim. Go on. Don't worry. You'll bring Jim back. I guess I had you figured all wrong, Joy. I mean, thanks for coming after me. We're supposed to help each other, aren't we? What was that? It was nothing. Say, I did hear something. Oh, that was just birds. That's no bird, Joey. Gee, maybe you shouldn't have sent Fury off. It was nothing. Just a woodchuck or something. That's no woodchuck. It sounds more like a, a bear. No, it couldn't be. Oh, Clawfoot's been seen around here. What do we do if it is him? Oh, right on this rock.
What do we do now, Jim? Keep on looking. Who's that coming? That's Fury. Joey must be in trouble. After that bear right now, Jim? No, Pete, you'll have to ride in and get a litter for Frankie. Okay, Jim. And contact Frankie's father and the sheriff. Tell him that old Clawfoot's still around here somewhere and to bring some deputies. Right, Jim. Hey. There. Does that feel a little better, Frankie? A little. Thanks, Jim. Okay. Joey, I'm awfully proud of you. I didn't do anything. Well, you sure did. You found Frankie and Betsy. You nearly took 10 years off of my life before I found you. Joey. What, Frankie? I guess you'll win easy tomorrow. What do you mean? I won't even get Betsy in the show. Why not? I could never get her cleaned up in time. Look at her. Mm, she sure is a mess, all right. Well, maybe I'll have better luck next year. Look, Frankie. I could clean her up in time once we got her back to the ranch. And we could take her to the show with Fuzzy in the morning. Does it mean working all night? I don't mind. Can I? Sure. Gee, thanks, Joey. Oh, that's all right. First prize. Gee, thanks. Fine animal you've raised. Thank you. Congratulations. Well, Joey, <laughs> second prize goes to you, boy. Gee, thanks a lot. Congratulations. Thank you. You know something? I had a hard time deciding. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, we made it. We sure did. We'd like to tell Fury about this. Well, Joey, how does it feel winning that ribbon? Gee, swell. He really won two ribbons. This one's half his. <laughs> Teamwork really pays off, doesn't it, Joey? It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> 